So you're looking for a setup to be able to be mobile and you're looking to do top-down videos or maybe talking head videos like this one, but you need that mobile capability of your setup to be able to move it around your house or be able to move it around so you have different backdrops for videos. Well, in this video, I have the perfect setup for you. Everything that you hear about in this video will be linked in the description to my kit landing page where I have everything that I use personally and I'm always constantly updating it. So again, you can check the prices for yourself, see what you wanna get, it, interchange things and um, just to let you guys know that some of the links are affiliate links which means I kind of get a kit back on it just certain things though uh, so with that being said let's talk about the setup first off what we're gonna do is talk about the desk the desk is a 52 inch husky workbench but we're using it as an actual desk it can be a sit-stand desk it has a little handle over here to where you can hand crank it up and down you can get a power tool to make it a little bit easier if you want. I've talked about the 72 inch version, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on it, but if you wanna know a little bit more and the uh, specifications, the height, width, depth, all that stuff, again, you can check out the Home Depot page and you can check out that video linked in the description. Now, this version has the, the drawers or whatever because we wanna store everything off the desk inside instead of getting the one without the drawers, which is less expensive but this one is uh, 269 and Home Depot. You can find it again uh, without the drawers for a little bit cheaper, um, but for around $300, there's really not that much play from side to side and back and forth. You're gonna have to push them in oomph behind it to actually push it. So if you bump it, like people try to exaggerate, that's why you gotta shake it so much, you're not gonna really have that much play. With that being said, the drawers are not very deep they are somewhat long, um, so you're gonna have two of them and you can put all your stuff in it. Um, so just keep that in mind. Some things might have to, the bigger ticket items or the taller items are gonna have to be on the desktop, but everything underneath that you would need for your top-down videos, maybe some desk mats or something like that, a laptop could fit in there, um, power supplies and stuff like that, extra batteries or whatever that are not on charging docks. The top of the desk, what are we using up here? So we're gonna talk about it over here to uh, my right is just a big monitor. It should be a smaller one. I know I really need to get a smaller one, but essentially what we're gonna do is make sure that uh, we have something that can monitor the main camera or um, have your laptop hooked up to a monitor or wherever to look at your notes, your script or something like that or maybe you're watching videos or trying to get stuff done or wherever. So that's just gonna be your tasking area wherever. It's gonna be on a monitor arm, of course. So moving on, this is the mic boom arm from uh, Blue, uh, and it's called the Blue Compass mic boom arm. Uh, up top, I have the Movo VSM5 attached to it. I just like the sound of my voice from this microphone. It's a cardioid microphone. It comes with the shock mount, pop filter, and XLR cables. So if you do decide to purchase this microphone, then you're perfectly fine. It's gonna work for your setup. Um, up top, as you can see, we have the Sony uh, ZV-E10 with the Sigma lens on it. Um, that's probably the most expensive part of the setup that we're using right now. Again, you can just get that with the kit lens and then in the future already have a camera that can do interchangeable lenses. But if you don't have a camera like that and you want something that's cheaper, then you can use what I'm using right now for my vlogging or side B-roll shots, everything like that is the Sony ZV-1. And it's really, really good. And it's only around, like, like I said, the same price, around $600, $700 or something like that. Sony did just come out with a new one, the Sony ZV-1F. And um, that one, it doesn't have all the features of this one. You can use it, um, but in my personal opinion, if you had the money, I would say go with the Sony um, ZE10. Um, if you want something that's more compact and fit in your pocket and stuff like that for mobile use and everything, I would go with the Sony ZV-1. Uh, Sony ZV but if you're looking to get into possibly in the future changing lenses like saving up and getting a lens or something like that then go with the sony ev10 you just want to vlog you want to do the top down shots you want to do a talking head video then the sony zv uh, one it's going to get you that all that and it's going to be perfectly fine to the monitor as you can see right here it's just a newer monitor to monitor the top down view and the angle or wherever so i can look straight at the lens and still see out of my peripheral or look at what's going on on the desktop or wherever. 
Um, there's hundreds of these little field monitors or monitor screens and stuff like that. You can find a cheap one, just make sure, uh, I would say to future proof, find one that's cheap, but can still um, handle up 4K input from your camera or wherever. So moving on to the actual pole, wherever it's just a cheap tripod pole, like a cheap tripod that you will find on Amazon. But this one allows you to actually collect, uh, clamp it to the actual desk in the back. Um, you can do this. I like this because again, it keeps it mobile, the camera mobile. But as you can see with a 4K crop in or anything like that, um, it's gonna look like you're super close. And you can tell that I am not actually this close to the camera, but it looks like I am because it's punched in. So if you want to, you can put your camera on a tripod like I have here uh, for the Sony ZV-1. But again, that kind of removes the process of just wheeling this thing around and just reaching over, click and record and everything already attached and set up. Now moving on to this uh, other pole, wherever it's the Elgato Flex Arm uh, for my top down angles. I will link some stuff in the description or wherever alternatives that are different kits or wherever that will cost the same amount as this, but come with all the extra mecha mechanisms that you can use and need. Whereas with the, this, you have to buy this add-on and this add-on and this add-on. Next thing you know, you're spending like 200 bucks just to be able to do this. Um, next, we're gonna talk about the lighting, which is the newer soft boxes that I have two of. These come with uh, batteries uh, or the capability of using a battery or wherever, but um, you can find these batteries cheap or wherever on Amazon or fairly, like I said, cheap. And um, it has digital input or display or wherever. It does not look like this in, cam um, in person. It's just my camera and shutter speed. But uh, one half shows you the brightness and one half shows you the color temperature. The color temperature ranges from uh, 5600 Kelvin to 3200 Kelvin. It comes with a powder uh, power brick that you can plug in the outlet. But like I said, I just hooked some batteries up to it. That is you, literally everything that I use on this setup. I just have a power cord that goes right into the, the wall wherever and then power strips and power chargers and stuff like that. On the back side of the desk, I'll make sure to include some shots for that. There is one thing that I did forget to mention uh, for this setup, though, is how do I use an XLR microphone uh, plugged into the camera? This is the iRig Pre 2. It has one XLR um, input interface. There is a one out there from another company that has two XLR inputs or whatever into a 30 uh, or 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, into your camera so you can record audio that way. Um, I have two rechargeable AA batteries in it and I just plug it in the wall when I'm done recording. It can supply phantom power to your microphones and everything like that. And I think it sounds pretty good. It's a good preamp. Um, but yeah, definitely would pick something up like that instead of using a shotgun microphone or something. Other than that though, I think that's pretty much it. Other than the lights that are around my YouTube studio setup, if you're interested in any of that, I did do a previous video where I talked about building a YouTube studio in my living room. So you can definitely check that out. I'll end off with this. The one crippling thing about this setup that you need to be aware of. But this right here, you cannot clamp anything on the side of the desk. You can clamp it on the front, you can clamp it on the back, and especially with the drawers, there's a lot of backspace or whatever to magnetically or attach stuff like adhesive, you know, um, maybe you want some Velcro adhesive things or something like that to pull chargers off batteries, maybe like Velcro your, your uh, remotes or something to the side, take it off, control lights, stuff like that. But as far as like clamping like this on the sides, you can't do it. That's the only downside that I really hate. Other than that, that has been the best YouTube mobile setup that you can do um, that, are, that is budget friendly. Again, the most expensive thing is probably, like I said, the, the Sony EV-10 uh, and having the, um, the Sigma lens or whatever on top of the camera. It's just so good to have this mobile setup. I'm so happy to finally do it. I'm still doing tweaks to it. Um, so let me know what you think about this overall uh, setup and if you are gonna pick up anything for yourself and what do you use for your top down videos or talking head videos, let me know in the comments below and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. If you wanna check out one of my live streams where I just play video games and we can chat about anything, you can follow the link in the description to my Twitch page where I 
been playing Call of Duty wherever every now and then. And um, if you're interested in personal life or something like that, or you want to see what I'd be talking about wherever you can check me out on Twitter, there will be a link to that in the description as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And uh, tentacles everywhere. Haven't said that in a while. <laughs>